Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Native Voice TV. I'm Sundas Martinez. And I'm Siwapili Rose Amador. And together we are Native Voice TV. We are the indigenous people. Yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's a shame. We should have brought our awards and put them up right here anyways. Just for add a reminder. Just in case someone didn't hear us saying it over <laughs> yeah. and over and over. <laughs> Could have had, it, had them zoom in right on it. <laughs> but the reason why we're talking about that is because... Um, one of the reasons why we, we won the award is because the environmental, it was entitled Environmental Racism on Native Land. And that was the show with Garver Goodplume. And guess who we have today? <laughs> Welcome, Garver Goodplume. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome. All the way from South Dakota, I uh, might add. One decade of man. Yes, and you've been working very, very hard. We've been, been getting a lot of your correspondence and updates. Yes. But we're glad you're back to tell us where we're at with this issue. Um, can you give us an update? Well, in the, the Black Hills issues, we are the processing taking the state to court. Mm -hmm. um, can I ask you to do something? Give us, for the viewers who didn't see the original show, just a little bit of update on what we're talking about. Oh, the movie. <clears throat> the movie of the Lakota voice of the 21st century that we um, filmed back in 2004 it's it's uh, finally finished and released now with the covers everything but that's uh, <clears throat> in process and it's going around throughout the world throughout Europe um, Australia and uh, it's really doing a lot of, um, of helping us do fundraising and it talks about the mining of the Black Hills the mining of the Black Hills the destruction of the Black Hills the the sale of the timber, the, well, the, the land, uh, treaty land that was stolen from us because mm -hmm. of the resources, how we were put on reservations. Reservations we found out were POW camps. <clears throat> My camp is Camp 344. Wow. So actually we were pushed aside in there so we can't be um, meddling into the companies and businesses that's going on there. Mm -hmm. With all the resources that they have taken out of there, it never comes back to our people. So it's, you know, we're still in poverty, we're still struggling. And so with all this interview that we did, <clears throat> it helped bring a state and tribal relations meeting at the state capitol in Pierce, South Dakota. They had a meeting, we went to the meeting that Monday, and we found out that following Friday, they passed the law. Not good for us, but for opening uranium mining on the, the whole state of South Dakota. Wow. With no regulations. <gasps> and so that was Friday. We weren't told, and we had this meeting. And it's just recent, right? Just recently, yeah, wow. back in last year, February, yeah. So it's been a year. And, and then uh, some of our representatives really didn't read the bill. They just helped pass it because uh -huh. it was Friday, and they had to get out of it. Yeah. So that was uh, one of the things that happened. And then uh, we... Uh, <clears throat> Went before the state relations and we decided to uh, reappeal all this. So they passed the bill during the bill uh, uh, again, but it, we didn't hear anything about it. It didn't go through nothing. So now this power tech wants to come in and do 150,000 new holes to the Black Hills for Sichi leaching mining wow. where they get the ore and all this through the aquifers. Mm -hmm. Well, which before we found out that a year before that they did 4,000 holes already illegally. Without any regulation No regulations, all. nothing. You had the runoff with the water and everything getting yep. going into the mainstream. Yep. Wow. <clears throat> and so this came about. Then we started raising cane again. And so they decided we start writing letters to the Senate and uh, the state Senate and all this and then mm -hmm. powwows we go there and we sa have people signing these letters. Finally they decided to have a hearing because <clears throat> Sich Leaching wants to come in where we found out this power tech Two years before it was an uh, uh, air conditioning company. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden they become a mining company and they're <laughs> set out from Canada. Well, the mm -hmm. Canadians come in and do their thing and go back, so there's nobody that can get blamed. Yeah. But the industry in South Dakota or the whatever is the uh, farming, ranching, cow, cattle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not too long ago, one of the state centers came by, told the farmers, to invest in uranium because it's good money. Mm -hmm. It's $79 a ton now from $8 a couple of years back. Because the cow business, the cows are not doing any good because so much drought that's happening there. And so now the farmers are thinking, but 
One good thing we did was a year before, two years before we sent out messages, uranium is bad, it's coming, it's going to happen. So now the farmers are sitting still wondering what they should do. Should they mine or not? You know, because it's going to affect the aquifers. This little town called Buffalo, they found out all their children, the people there are dying of brain cancer. Oh, they wow. couldn't figure out where it was, but right be above them are these open pit mines. Mm. And we also found out through the University of Michigan, we had a professor come do mm -hmm. uh, a meeting with us, with the, mm -hmm. the whole the school of mines, whatever. I keep saying whatever. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. Whatever. So, <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> so anyway, we had this meeting with her, and she did the readings and all this, and we were going into this one pit mine because it's a sacred site there. the The hill was mowed down and dug into. It's about big as a football field. But half of, there's a, on top there's a circle, one of the big teepee rings that mm -hmm. usually, a teepee ring will usually be a burial ground or a sacred site. Mm -hmm. But underneath that there was a lot of picture glyphs where all this, um, uh, the dirt has been pushed over and then the, it's, it's like uh, ash. But every time it rains and snows, this ash starts running down and it started a creek and it goes into the rivers, to the Moore oh, River sure. and the Grand River which goes into the Missouri River and goes into Mississippi, into um, the ocean. the rest of the, the, the yeah. world, right? Yeah. Basically. So by the state capital, we have a, a, a large um, dam there called Owahi Dam. And what they're doing is called Miniwichoni, and this water is being pumped back to the reservations. Mm -hmm. So our people are getting that water back over there. So we've been telling people don't get that water, but the reservation people are telling them, okay, we checked your wells and your... Uh, water and it's contaminated so you have to hook up with mini mm -hmm. yeah. so the people are saying no we can't we don't want to but they said well your water's condemned it's no good yeah. getting them to hook up so one family decided to get water samples of their own and when their samples came back there was radiation there was it was all in that water wow ah, and so we've wow. been telling this to the people but you know it's just like deaf ears but this is part of the genocidal thing right. we heard that they said that we're in the way of progress you know mm. our, our people are standing in and the way of progress since you're fighting it they're just going to kill everybody off yeah yeah <clears throat> you mentioned and last time that you were here something about frying hamburger and mercury yeah mercury was in the hamburger and you know we didn't know what it was well, the was scary thing yeah the scary oh. thing is it, that that whole area is a cattle ranch right they 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 they, yes. they raise cattle and then they they slaughter it and they ship the meat out to the rest of the country right yeah so everyone else is getting contaminated out there so we were saying, where does mad cow disease come from? Yeah. You know, yeah. where did it come from? They know, but they wouldn't tell it. It comes on news, too. Our elk and deer are dying uh, wasting disease. Oh, yeah. And they're drinking the water. And so, you know, it's, it's affecting everything. Mm -hmm. We went to another mine this past spring to check out another place. It's called the Stronghold, where our chief American horse mm -hmm. um, held a cavalry for a while there. He got killed there and massacred. It's a stronghold where... Um, they held the cavalry there for all, and they started starving out. And they, they uh, two of the soldiers escaped and came back, and they massacred. Them. But we went there to check the uh, sites out there because there was another mine just a mile off the road in '79, and cars are going back and forth. The wind's blowing. When we got there, we started looking around, but we had a lot of like our people pick berries mm -hmm. and wild turnips. And there was abundance and abundance of wild turnips, buffalo berries, beautiful, just thick, you know. And, and, and the wild turnips growing, and we were like, we want to pick them, but we can't because yeah. that pit behind the dust is blowing all over the place there. And so we raised all this kind awareness came. We got the School of Mines there, and they decided to, the, okay, the, the EPA gave the Forest Service $22 million to clean up this place or do some Mm -hmm. uh, a research. So they hired the School of Mines, the students, to do it. Mm -hmm. They did it and they came back with a report saying that, well, radiation is only five miles a radius. But mm -hmm. no, that's far away. And they don't want to scare the ranchers and farmers. Yeah. We went to a meeting at a place called Lublow, South Dakota. It's a little out of uh, country school. And we're sitting at country school right above, there's a hill there. Well, that's an open pit mine there, too. The, the, you know, it's just open. Mm -hmm. And the kids are there going to school, oh. and there's a little bar restaurant there. And then one of the elders, there, the rancher, said, "How are we going to deal with this? Because a lot of this dirt came off this hill to build the school, and our children are going to school there. Well, we wanted to get the people to be aware of what's happening because mm -hmm. 
the one of the senators said, now we know why these children are all dying of brain cancer. They couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Wow. So we learned a lot this past year. And uh, one of our, we're working with the Forest, Forest Service, they're really fighting us because they want to lease this land for um, cattle, whatever, you know, they get, they get the lease money. But they, they keep saying it's not bad, but it, it is bad. And we had a professor from Germany that came and helped do some of the research, and he mm -hmm. told us that it's, it's so contaminated that it's in the forest. The Black Hills is a big forest, you know, mm -hmm. it's forest. We had nine fires in that, our sacred mountain. One fire jumped nine times as they tried to contain it. Mm -hmm. Now he said what happened was before the lightning even struck the mountain to cause a fire, before it even started, the fire started. Because the pine trees, all the, the trees are already laced with uranium, with the radiation, wow. so that was causing. And a lot of these people lost beautiful homes and everything, yeah. you know. Wow. We're trying to give them that awareness. And it's, it's growing, it, you know, it's growing and uh, we're realizing that these things are happening. So we finally went to a, a hearing. Okay, the state decided, well, all these people wrote in and we'll have a hearing before we give this power tech uh, a certification saying you can. Mm -hmm. So they wanted all the oppositions, everybody to come. Mm -hmm. So we all went to, we had elders, a lot of elders came that spoke Lakota language. We asked for interpreters, they denied us that. Wow. And that's a civil rights violation. Mm -hmm. And then also, when during the, during the uh, hearings, when our elders stood up to talk, they, they cut them off or either they don't record it. And then we continued on the next day, but that day before, they were supposed to release this uh, um, go-ahead for the power tech. But they were supposed to uh, create uh, the laws or the regulations well, anyway, that day they passed that power tech to mm -hmm. go ahead and um, drill. Then the next day, they made laws, which is ah, kind of backwards. Yeah. And they were using Wyoming laws to yeah. do South Dakota, which is all messed up. It was like, well, what's going on here? You know, they're just crazy. You know what's amazing to me is if this was happening anywhere in, in like in another country and one, <laughs> one yeah. group was doing it to another group, the United States would march over there and say, we're going to help all these people because this group is trying to genocide this group, so we're going to go help them and start a war. Yeah. But it's happening in their own and backyard, they're and it. they're allowing it, and they're doing it, and they're hushing it up, and, and you know, they're trying to be like, they're supporting yeah. It. yeah, they're, they're supporting it. In support of it. Yeah, so this we is call, totally wrong. We call uh, the Black Hills area, South Dakota, secret Chernobyl. Yeah. Because in 1972, Richard Nixon executive order made that area a national sacrifice <clears throat> land. Mm -hmm. So he even sacrificed his own people there. Wow. So that whole area is all Halliburton, oil companies, Exxon, and they're all there. Mm -hmm. Now the, 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 P, the BIA is buying land for the tribe from the people mm -hmm. where the reservation they put us underneath, there's oil, gas, and see they're after that now. Yeah. And our people are selling and we tell them don't sell it because money burns like paper and the land is still there. Where are we gonna go? Yeah. Right. There was a saying the elders, a lot of our elders, we just, we just laid one to rest, she left and it's hard to see our elders go because they're taking all the knowledge and the real language and everything. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they told us don't sell your land because one of these days you will be walking along the road with your children crying and it's happening. We tell our people, don't sell your land. No matter how hard it is, don't sell it. But they are, and we're losing our reservation bad, fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When the ranchers are coming in, and, and half of our reservation is um, non-native now. Oh, they're really? making it yeah. impossible for them yeah. to stay there. Okay. It's hard. And that's, part of the, that's part of the whole plan there, you know. Yeah, so yeah. we've been uh, going to Geneva a lot on these issues. And Geneva doesn't have the indigenous meetings there anymore. They brought it to New York. Because after, the well, I talked about the declaration here last year, mm -hmm. what happened was that they abolished the Human Rights mm -hmm. Commission and created a new Human Rights Council. U.S. stepped out because they said they don't want to be involved and responsible because of all the human rights violations that yeah. they were accused of. So what they do is they let uh, Canada and Africa vote for them. And anyway, this declaration 
Article 3 and 36 was approved by the Human Rights Commission, but now that's gone. And then they created uh, the chairman's text, and he, he destroyed Article 46, which says that any indigenous nations throughout the world can go to a world forum to take their grievance and uh, complaints to the world issue, which is in the uh, Hague, Netherlands, the world mm -hmm. court. Well, they did away with that and saying that everything should be domesticated within the states, within their own states. And yeah. then they created 47, so there's no 46. And now they want the state countries to pass it, but the state countries don't want to pass it now because there's, it's too vague, there's no, not enough words. What happened was a lot of our, the people that we work with, attorneys and different ones that work with, they started changing the wording. Mm -hmm. and, and the wording, you know, and one little word may, means a lot. Yeah. But this uh, rapporteur, Alfonso Martinez, he's a Cuban, he's a rapporteur. He, he, for the past 30 years, he did uh, treaty studies throughout the whole United States mm -hmm. in Canada. And with this, he, he created this declaration with the elders, sat with them, went right to their homes. I remember he came to Pine Ridge, sat with the traditional people mm -hmm. and visit with them. And, and they created this. And the Human Rights Commission at the time said, okay, all these other countries like Croatia, Bosnia, they got their declaration in six years. Why are you guys going almost 20 years now? And they're stretching it. Mm -hmm. And they want to they want it to recess it for three years, or they want it to extend it for one more year, mm -hmm. which they got extended one more year, but there was no consensus, and the rapporteur, or the, the chairman, decided to put his own tax in. So it's, it's really bad for our, our people, our indigenous people, that yeah. they don't want to recognize us, which the chairman also did say the state countries don't want to recognize the indigenous mm -hmm. people. Right. So it's really hard. We have indigenous people from all over, like, Russia, Japan, well, to the seven regions. Yeah. <clears throat> I know you have a website too, don't you? It's yeah, we um, have a website, Defenders. DefendersBlackHill.org. Dot org, yeah. And that gives you a lot of information and background and actually has, I think, where you can get a copy of the uh, movie. You can the movie, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Voice of the Lakota Nation. Right, people yeah. can order that or at least give a contribution, right, so they can yeah. to help out. To help us with our struggles. And plus, you can also go to www.lakotavoices.com. Robert Silicia, he's from this area. Mm -hmm. He's the one that uh, did the film, which yes. is really helpful. So if, if, if someone's just hearing this for the first time and they don't understand what's really going on, they can detach to your website, check it out, and really by helping you, it's helping them because it's helping everybody. It's helping everyone in this continent. Yeah, because yeah. eventually all you know, it's running into the water. It's getting into the food. The water is going everywhere. The food's mm -hmm. getting shipped out. The cows, you know, the hamburger meat is getting shipped out everywhere. And it, uh, I wouldn't doubt if some of that meat's coming over to California and we're eating it. Hitting one of those McDonald's. Yeah, hitting mm -hmm. one, of one of those, those McDonald's. Fast food so places. by helping you f or us, us Native people, fight this thing, this this wrongdoing going on, it's helping yourself. So send some money over, send some help. You yeah, because we're what we're doing is we're looking out for our future generations. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking at. It yeah. might not happen for us now, but our children, our your great grandchildren, you know. Are they going to still be in existence? Are yeah. we going to be no more? You know, that's that, what's scary. Yeah. That's funny that you mentioned Croatia. I remember that the uh, United States went over there to help the Muslims that were there, that were getting attacked by the Christians who were trying to genocide them. Yeah. It was just a small group of them, so they took them out, right? And they went over there and fought. But who's going to fight for us? Yeah, you who's going to fight for us? Who's going to fight for us? So well, To them, people are expendable yeah. for yeah. the money. Yeah. And so, so we have to protect the people. Yeah, that's we really have to fight for our children. Yeah. Our prayers, your prayers need to be strong. I, my elders send down a word saying, work to pray, pray mm -hmm. to work. That's all we have left because now they're after our intellectual knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what they want. They're trying to sell our herbs and our plants in the Black Hills mm -hmm. and, and to, to a pharmaceutical. So some of the elders mm -hmm. said, go ahead, do it because we know the songs and prayers, but it ain't gonna work for you because <laughs> this came to us by yeah. the natural law and we're, we're dealing with natural law. So I was really happy when you guys got the award. <clears throat> it really, you know. Well, it was because of you. It was because, something yeah. that 
it was an awareness that mm -hmm. came about and it, it opened a lot of eyes. Much needed awareness and that's why I was glad you were able to come back and will continue to come back yeah. and enlighten us with what is going on. Yeah, well, and what's good it about it, you know, so many people saw that show. You know, they looked at it, people yeah. in Washington, D.C., they, they watched the show, they liked the show, and you know, it went all the way there, you know. So That's what good. we're doing here is mm -hmm. it, we're pushing it out to Washington, D.C., and we actually yeah, sat you. over there and talked to some people about what's really going on. Well, that's good. Thank yeah. you guys very much. Well, thank you for all the work really you're doing, us. and you're doing a lot of work. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Definitely. Yeah. And so what are your, uh, what's coming up in the immediate future for you? In our future here, right, right now, I'm, I'm, when I get back, I have a photojournalist coming in. He's Hindu, and what they got was that, um, um, okay, this country here is rich. You, you got Disneyland, you got all these casinos mm -hmm. and all this stuff, and right in the middle of the United States, this is happening. And so what we're going to do is we're going to another UN indigenous meeting probably in New Zealand in 2008. We just had our first indigenous UN meeting in Edmonton, Alberta in mm -hmm. November, mm -hmm. which was really good because they, were, they were never had nothing like that out of mm -hmm. United Nations or yeah. New York. So we got there and we talked and we, we exposed what was happening. And a lot of the countries were really upset about it because no, they didn't want nobody to know, but mm -hmm. we had to let them know that another thing's coming. Was um, it shocking to other countries that this was going on here in the United States? Yeah, it was really <laughs> shocking to a lot of them. You know, they, they were saying that, you know, it was overseas mostly, but yeah. they never yeah, knew it was right going to be here. Uh -huh. But because we, we are a strong nation, we're a strong praying people, mm -hmm. we're the only people probably really praying because we're the keeping the earth alive. We're yeah. keeping that circle going. If we quit praying, this world's going to fall apart. That's right. So the elders... We, we're saying that tell tell the people there to hang on to their culture, their language, and their prayers. Yeah. See, if they would have just let it alone, and we could have had, if we would have had it all, there would have been no cancer, no sickness, or anything like that, and we would have been free people, truly free people. Free people, yeah. Yes. Well, we'll continue to pray with you. Definitely. Appreciate we have it. Have some announcements. Oh yeah. Thank you. We're gonna catch up on our announcements quickly here. We have the 14th annual Cesar Chavez March and Festival, March 31st, and at the Mexican Heritage Plaza. Yeah. And Heart Now Pow Wow, honoring indigenous intertribal people, April 21st. That's from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Homestead and yep. Salinas. Thank that's you. That's in Salinas. <laughs> okay, Native, Native TANF program. They're a great sponsor. Has been, they've been a sponsor since we started the show <laughs> and good supporters. So support the Native TANF program. A lot of good services. Women Empowered to Move Ahead, for, offered by Center for Training and Careers, and it's for women who want to go into the apprenticeship trades. Good money there. Okay, Work to Future, that's at Center for Training and Career, 1600 Las Plumas. And that's if you're looking for a job yeah. and or want to upgrade your job, come by there. You can log on and see all the jobs that are available in this county and throughout the uh, nation. Cool. Okay, tune in for Indian Time Radio, KKUP 91.5. That's going to be every Tuesday from 8 to 10 There's p.m. David. with our own David Romero hey, and David. Jack Hyatt. <laughs> Artbeat. For all your framing needs, Artbeat provides the, uh, the pictures for our set here. So we thank them and please support indigenous proprietors. Yes. El Zerbador is another one of our sponsors. They are a bilingual yeah. newspaper. Great. Remember Leonard Peltz here, 30 years of false imprisonment. You know, that's not updated. It's actually 31 years Is of it? false. It's yeah. 31 years. It's just, it's, it's, it's horrible when you yeah. think of how long it's been. So please come by the powwows, give a donation if you can to help his, we his defense. Yeah. We still have political prisoners. If yes, you we do. That. Support Leonard. And uh, watch Native Voice TV. Channel yeah, 15. This was us at the Cesar yeah. Chavez parade, la the parade in March last year, yeah. and um, we're looking forward to this year's again. Yeah. So, Garver, you're going heading back to South Dakota this week? Yeah, or I'm soon? going back for a long ride. <laughs> long ride? How long did it take to get <clears throat> here? Oh, well, almost 24 hours. Whoa, lots of driving. Bus broke huh? down. <gasps> Quick bus dear, broke down. Oh, so. dear. <laughs> Quick message to the people out there. What message would you have to give to the people out here? To be strong. 
and hang on to your culture and your language. Mm -hmm. Remember who you are and where you come from. It's a beautiful Good message. message. And they can help out again by going on www.defendblackhill.org or bhdefenders at msn.com. And they, you, anything they can send. Um, yeah, anything would can be help because we have the Beirut legal issues, mm -hmm. um, the uranium issues. Um, I forgot the rest, but there's quite even a few lawyers. Things. If there's any lawyers, yeah, we're out looking there. for lawyers. We yeah, need some any lawyers. lawyers out there who want to donate some time or anything like that. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, that's all yeah. we need. Yeah, yeah. This is um, killing we're us. A celebrity. Yeah. We need a celebrity to help us. Yeah, celebrities. celebrities. Yeah, we're gonna have well, some. When you become a celebrity, <laughs> I expect you to help. <laughs> yeah, we have this um, Corianka. Mm -hmm. She did a, a Pocahontas on the New World. Oh and yeah. She contact us too. Good. Great. So yeah. help however you can. Yeah. It's really important. Definitely. And thank you for being a supporter of Native Voice TV. Yeah. We appreciate all our. All we welcome our, our viewers. All the viewers that we met this week, the, this last weekend, a couple yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, we keep running into you at Powwow, yeah. so it's really yeah. nice. Come up and say hi, and we'll see you next Sunday at six o'clock. Thank you for mm -hmm. watching. Good night. Good night. Children.